Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing solving linear equations with two variables. This time, we will be focusing in substitution method. So let's have our example number one. The given equations are 2x minus y is equal to 9 and x plus 3y is equal to negative 6. And notice in our board, we have here the graph, the slope of the line, classification, and the number of solution. We will be needing this table in our graph later. So aside from solving the x and y using substitution, we can also graph this problem. Now let's try this example, solved by substitution method. So of course, we need to substitute. First, let us find the value of x or y. It's up to you. So instead of the given, if we're going to manipulate our equation 1, let's name it equation 1, and this is equation 2, equation y, if we're going to use the addition property of equality, we can find the value for y. And in equation number two, addition property of equality, we remove 3y on the right side, we can get a value for x. Now, let us find first the value of x. Let us use the equation number two. So this is also the same as x is equal to negative 3y minus 6. Okay. They are the same. Now, after getting the value for x, we need to substitute in our equation number 1. So the equation number 1 is 2x minus y is equal to 9. So we have a value for x. So 2 times our x is negative 3y minus 6 minus y is equal to 9. Again, let us repeat. The value of x is 3y minus 6. So the x in our equation 1 just change into negative 3y minus 6. Okay? Now, distribute. 2 times negative 3y, negative 6y. 2 times negative 6, negative 12. Minus y is equal to 9. Now we are going to find the value for y. So negative 6y minus y, negative 7y, is equal to 9. Addition property of equality, I will move negative 12 to the right, so that will become positive 12. So negative 7y is equal to 9 plus 12, 21. Now we have, divide by negative 7, so y is equal to 21 divided by negative 7, negative 3. This will be the value for our y. Now, we have a value for y. We can now get the value for x. Notice that x is equal to negative 3y minus 6. So all we need to do is to substitute the value for y x is equal to negative 3 times negative 3 minus 6. So x is equal to negative 3 times negative 3, that is positive 9 minus 6. So x is equal to 9 minus 6, that is 3. So the solution of the system of equation is x is 3, y is negative 3. Now, if the question asks you to write the number of solution, so number, number of solution, you can write 1. There is only one solution. And the classification of system, classification 
of system we can write consistent and independent and of course if you're going to try to graph this so this will be the outcome of your graph depending on the solution of the linear equation they will meet at 3 negative 3 that will be the intersection point of our linear equation so that's on how to solve the linear equation under the substitution method. The next video will be solving linear equation with two variables. We have the elimination method. Stay tuned for our next video.